and you go crazy. One thing that I always found interesting about you that's rare for rappers is mm -hmm. the fact that you don't smoke or drink. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us the type of discipline you instill in yourself to stay away from both? Right. So um, my biggest um, uh, <coughs> reason for that is my mom, you okay. know, and her situation. Makes sense. And to me, I looked at this shit like, damn, I'm looking around the projects like everybody in this, you know, we all in the projects. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know a personally that's successful. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, like, one thing everybody in this got in common as adults is they either smoke or drink. Even whether it's weed, cigarettes, you know, just you drinking bottles, whatever you do. And I was just thinking, like, we watched these movies growing up, Five Heartbeats, Temptations, other shit like Jackson 5, blah, 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 all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the Frankie Lime and all that type of shit. And it's like, what do they all have in common? Everything, you watch the uprise of the story, things going good. That's our favorite part of the movie. Mm -hmm. Then it's this downfall because of the smokes or the drinks. So I'm thinking in my head, maybe if I'm the one, the only one that don't smoke or drink, maybe I'll be successful. You know, maybe I'll try <laughs> that shit and see where it goes. Maybe I'll, I won't be in the same place as Everybody the else. adults around me when I grow up. Mm -hmm. So that was that. Was that. <laughs> Um, I always tell myself I'll never sell crack based off of I've seen the effect that it has on families from first hand. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, just the same way I love my mom, it's another little boy out there that love their mom. So why would I go sell this to her and do that to him and her and whoever the f else loves her? Mm -hmm. So I always promised myself that I would never sell crack. Right. You know, or heroin, anything like that. So all I sold was pounds of weed. Right. And um, even when I sold that, it's people that used to be like, some of my clientele, like, nigga, how you around all this shit and you don't smoke it? And right. I learned that really from growing up watching Scarface, and that was his downfall. They said, don't get high on your own supply. That was the rule. And he was fucking up that rule. You see what I'm saying? And you just go watch the movie like, damn, if he wasn't high, he probably would have seen this. Damn, if he wasn't high, he would have seen him doing it. He wouldn't have killed, you know what I'm saying? Certain shit like that. So it's like, a lot of people don't know that when they, when they hire off drugs, you're not in your right mind. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. this, this is not your norm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand too, I made a tweet that went viral, you know, and it says, you know, people that smoke, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a weakness. And a lot of people got offended. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So the thing for me breaking it down is it's not for me to take a jab at you or to say you a weak motherfucker. The thing is, it's just, you know, it's, it's human to be weak. When you see somebody and you say, hey, okay, what's his weaknesses? You know what I'm saying? What's his, what's his vice? You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. We look for that, whether it's sports or anything, you know? And, um... When you say high, I'm getting high off something. Like, what does that mean? You know, when you take a drug, a drug is to strengthen something that's weak. You see what I'm saying? When you take too much of it, it takes you past the, the level of where you needed to be. So now you're high. You see what I'm saying? It brought it up to that level, but past that. So now it's high. You see what I'm saying? So if you, um, you know, oh, shit, my, my, I got pain in my back. It's, it's hurting. I need some painkillers. You know what I'm saying? I could take it. A certain amount, you look on the back of the thing, yeah, take two of these every whatever, eight hours. It's like, okay, cool. You take it, it's like, yeah, my shit stopped hurting. But if I keep popping, keep popping, now I'm high. Now I'm walking around, you see what I'm saying? Feeling a certain type of way that y'all might think is cool. It's like, no, nah, nigga, you took too much. You did too much. There's people that's purposely taking a drug to get to that level and then rapping about it or saying it's cool. Oh, it's hiding them. It's like, that's not right, bro. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, why do I keep needing it? Because you keep going back down to that level of feeling weak to where it's like, I feel like I, I need this. You know, people can say, hey, man, I got the sweet tooth. And they would like accept that shit and be like, man, I'm finna go get some candy. I went and racked up on candy. I had a sweet tooth. Makes sense to me. Not knowing or not never hearing that sugar is not for us. You know what I'm saying? Sugar is the main thing that makes us age. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Sabi talked about. Um, you know how they say be beauty fades? The Bible say beauty fades. Over time, beauty fades. This woman don't look as pretty as she looked when she was 20, 30. Now she's, you know what I'm saying, 50, 60. And it's like smoking, which blackens our, you know, insides, our lips, all that shit. It helps speed up the process of eight, looking older. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, she used to be so pretty. This bitch look like she been smoking cigarettes for 20 years. It don't look like you smoking crack, but you look like you, been, like you look bad. Yeah. And she, did, she never seen herself turning into that. When she go look at her old pictures, like, damn, I look good. I was 20 years old. Yeah, well, now you're 40, and look at you. You look smoked out. Your insides are black, and your outside is the result that we see of it. You know what I'm saying? She's she been thinking those whole 20 years, talking shit and looking down on the crackhead. You see what I'm saying? It's like, no, this crackhead is actually finna outlive you. And you, and you think you better than her because you smoke cigarettes nonstop while she smoked crack nonstop. You know what I'm saying? It's like y'all in the same boat. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all felt some type of weakness in y'all void was the 
I'm finna go to these cigarettes. I'm finna go to this crack. Certain shit like that. So that's what I mean. You know, any of us could be, um, you know, human, weak about something. You know, my weakness might be girls. Oh, shit, when I'm around bitches, you know, I, you know it's like, yeah, she can have anything she want. You know, his weakness might be, oh, when I'm around my cousins, I kind of stop giving a f You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the toughest nigga in the room. It's like, dude, you need to control yourself, you know. And some people have those other weaknesses where it's like, man, I don't know why. I just got, I always had a bad lower back. You know, I don't know why my, my knees be hurting every time I, I play basketball. You know what I'm saying? It's like you and you're trying to take something to, to make it stronger. You need to do this to make it stronger. So wherever people are hurt at, you know, that's why a lot of times, you know, from you can get your heart broke. It's like, damn, it's like, and you start drinking. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like you're trying to strengthen something. You feel weak, you know? Oh shit, my brother died and I was just went into a deep depression and I just started smoking crack. That's what happened to my mom. Her baby brother got killed. He got murdered. You know what I'm saying? My uncle. Um, his name was Herbie Dodd. And um a lot of people say he looked just like me, but he had green eyes, you know, and he could box real good. And it was like, uh, you know, he got murdered and my mom like that's when she started doing crack. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So a lot of times like at those you get to some place in your life where you feel a certain weakness and it's like you you're looking to turn to something, you know, that can help me in, in this time. You see what I'm saying? And um, that's human. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it's weak because, you know, you're human. You ain't supposed to be weak. No, we all have been weak at different times. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, even with some women, they might get cheated on. They be so hurt that they go do something against their character. It's like, I'm finna go just, I'm finna go have sex with this dude that been trying to talk to me for the past year because she's hurt right now. The she has sex with him, she like, I still don't feel better. Mm -hmm. And the dude ain't hear from her no more. Like, damn, she gave me the pussy and then I never heard from her again. It's like, because it, was, it really wasn't about you. She was hurt at the time and was looking for something to strengthen her. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people just don't know the, the psychological shit of, you know, just being human and, and feeling weak. You know, we always try to run, run, run. What can I run to? Run? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm stressing, bro. I, I need something to smoke. Everybody fucking stresses. You don't need that. Everything that we need, God put it here already for us. You know, the goddamn, the sun, the, the trees so we can breathe, fruit on the trees that we can eat. People don't know we can fucking eat grass and live. You know what I'm saying? They don't know this. You know what I'm saying? The rain, the keep come, coming down. Like we need water, all that type of shit. Everything we need, God gave it to us. You know, it's a saying that says, you know, uh, if God didn't make it, don't take it, you know, and I, I really like live by that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically it, though. So that's why I don't smoke and drink and I just try to stay focused. I, I enjoy it and I like being in my right mind. You never know when you may be in a time where you should have been in your right mind. That's why you're not here no more. You should have been in your right mind. That's why you lost your kids. You know, you should have been in your right mind. or That's why your bro is no longer here because you wasn't on point for him. You weren't watching his back like you were supposed to because you were so busy about the bitches and the drinks and the good time and being fly or looking at shorty ass, you couldn't even watch your brother back to, properly. You know what I'm saying? You needed to be in your right mind at that time more than ever. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that, that we, we get blinded by so much and the, the only um, reason that we stumble in life is because we, we couldn't see. You see what I'm saying? Like if I trip over the steps, I hit my head on the fucking wall coming up the steps. It's like you only stumble, you fall in life because it was something that you missed. It's something that you couldn't see. You know, we ended up going to jail and it was like, damn, something told me you don't leave the fucking crib. Yeah, if you, able to, if you was able to see into the future, you would have sat your ass down and stayed at home. You see what I'm saying? Certain shit like that. And it's like, you know, every time we make a mistake or, or, or every time we, we feel hurt or pain is because, you know, we made a mistake. Something, something was made that was, that, that, that was wrong. We burned our hand in the oven, put it in there. You know what I'm saying? You, you didn't see your, your hand was finna touch that. You know what I'm saying? But now you feel the pain. The pain is from a mistake that you made. You know what I'm saying? And um, we are only human. You know what I'm saying? So we have weaknesses. We slip. We fuck up sometimes. Sometimes we can't see every damn thing. You know, sometimes shit be right in our face. And it's like, damn, I, ain't, I didn't even know it was right there. You know, you, people would be with their significant other. And you really don't know who the fuck you laying down in bed with every night. Mm -hmm. But you really think you can go into another room and say some shit. I heard Master P say, hey, show me, show me, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. It's like, it's people that you don't even know your own damn future. You don't know you're finna go to jail for the next 20 years of your life. You know what I'm saying? You don't know that, you don't know that your, your wife is cheating on you. She just left and went to work. You don't know you're getting cheated on right now. But you're going to tell me you're going to see my friends for the first time and tell me my future. You don't even know your damn future. Do you know you got three more years left to live? It's like people don't know this shit, but they will really judge other people and, and, and talk like that. Oh, yeah, I know where you get it. I know where you had it, too. I know you. I might read a book. That person that you judge right now might read a book. I have to do 30 days in jail, sit down and read a book that changed his whole fucking life. Now he get out of jail, he on another mission. Mm -hmm. A whole nother level of where he was at. But you already told him where the fuck he was going to go. And counted him out. You see what I'm saying? So it's just certain shit like that. People be wanting to pass judgment on other people 
um, and feel okay with it. That's why I think a lot of people run to like zodiac signs. You know, you could talk to a girl, she's like, what's your sign? She finna prejudge you. You see what I'm saying? Instead of actually getting to know you. Let me take the time to get to know you. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's almost like telling a motherfucker, hey, show me your book cover and I can, t and I can you know, I know what this book is about. It's like, no, you should probably open it up and really get to know this book. That's why they say don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. But if it was that easy, you know, we'd run with that. Oh, yeah, show me the book, the front of the book and the back of the book. I'm good. I don't need to read it. But that's what it is. DJ, you go crazy.